Okay, so we're back. All right, here is the big picture then, the flow chart. So let's see what this is saying. If we have position, velocity, and acceleration, and we want to know how they relate to net force, you just multiply the, the acceleration times the mass, and that gives you the net force. Um, if you have the velocity and you want to get to momentum, momentum will just be equal to um, the mass times the velocity. Coming down here, if I have the velocity and I want to get to the kinetic energy, that's just equal to 1 half mv squared. Hey, from momentum, I can get to impulse because impulse is just a change in momentum. So I just take the change in momentum and that gives me impulse. I can also get the imp to impulse this way. Impulse is F net times the time it, the net force acts over it. So impulse is the is F net times the time it takes the uh, the force to act over it. Okay, uh, if you look over here, the kinetic energy. If I take the change in kinetic energy, that's the net work done. And the net work done is equal to the net force times delta x. So you take the net force times delta x, not delta t, but delta x this time, and that gives you the net work. Okay, finally, the rate at which energy changes forms is power. So if you take the derivative of kinetic energy with respect to time, dE dt, that gives you power measured in watts. But it's also, power is also the rate at which work is done. So dW dt, where w is, w is uh, work, the rate at which work is done with time is also power. Okay, so there you have it. If we're given any one of these circled quantities here, we can get to any of the others by just jumping around. So if uh, I'm given, say, position... And I want to get um, the, 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 how the position of an object changes with time. And I want to, say, get power. Then uh, there's a couple ways I could go. But I'm just going to go, I'm going to first maybe take the velocity. Then from the velocity, I'll find the kinetic energy. And then I'll maybe take the derivative of V with respect to time. And that gives me power. However, if I'm given the acceleration of an object, how that varies with time, and I'm asked for its impulse over a certain time. Um, I can go this way or that way. I'd probably multiply times the mass to get the net force, and then I would uh, multiply that net force times delta t and get impulse. So you should be able to, after a while, just jump around from one, from one quantity to the other. I will give you this flow chart in class. This is what the rest of the semester is doing. We're using this to, to actually um, find these quantities. At, at least that's part of what the, the rest of the semester is. All right. So um, good luck. I, I will pass this out in class, and maybe it will make a little more sense to you if you've seen this video. All right. Bye.